You ever wanted to know how game design is teached at the university in Germany? Maybe specific, but I'm glad you're here because that's exactly what I want to tell you about. Welcome to my channel Cliff Deer, and I hope you're having fun watching my journey into the game industry. We're talking about game design, so let's first clarify what is design in terms of animation and game. Yeah, well, as I said, I'm studying a program called animation and game. So uh, what is design is different in terms of what you're looking at. If you look at an animation or if you look at the game, there are maybe some similarities, but they are both very different designs. In terms of game design, we have general game design, level design, system design, tag design, um, different forms of design. And in uh, animation, in general, we have something like narrative design and character design, which is not or doesn't have to be specific for animations or for games. It kind of works in both. And it may sound very similar to what I told you in game development, all those different jobs, in the end it's just coding, but um, lots of the stuff is so fundamentally different that the only thing it has in common is that you're designing something. It's really difficult to specif uh, specify, it is really difficult to specify what design actually is. So I focus on game design and its various disciplines, so I will tell you more about that in the future, but yeah. Um, let me tell you about what we did in the first semester in design. Well, I told you about all the different design stuff you can have, and we kind of did everything. <laughs> uh, we did, we had lectures about cinematography, about prototyping, uh, animation principles, about uh, nope, I had prototyping, but that included a little bit level designing. Um, we had a history of animation and games, so what was the first game, what was kind of the first animations. Uh, we had human anatomy drawing lectures and so on. Besides more theoretical lectures, we had also very practical lectures. We had an animation tutorial where we, in the first semester we did both kind of, we did 2D animation and 3D animation. We had a little squirrel jumping over an edge. Um, we had some facial animations, how you look like when you talk. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, also storyboarding. So we had to do a whole, no, actually we had to do two storyboards, but the first one um, got erased from our memory. No, not our memories. I couldn't remember that if it happened. <laughs> no, we had little problems because we were the corona semester, so we started later. So normally uh, you start around October, but we started in November. So we've lost kind of three to four lectures. So um, when we first tried to do some uh, storyboards and animatics, we horribly failed and uh, our profs decided to cut those tasks because we were so bad. <laughs> no, it was kind of, yeah, we hadn't the lectures. There, if Corona wouldn't have existed, we would have had more lectures to prepare the whole stuff. But um, yeah, so we had those practical courses um, and we had a lot of, lot of, <laughs> And we had a lot of homeworks, uh, most of them involved a lot of drawing. So like I said, drawing a whole storyboard was like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 frames. Um, and in the end we had also an exam, but uh, this exam was different than the others because it wasn't a day, uh, two hours on a day where you have to answer specific questions. No. Um, we had to gather everything we did. So we had some tasks, we had the animations, we had the anatomy drawings, we had the storyboard and so on. Uh, also, uh, we had to do a little game. And our task or our final exam was to gather all that, put it into a portfolio and um, send this portfolio to the profs. Um, yeah, so 
all the stuff we did and it all got squatted. Mm. We didn't got a lot of feedback on our stuff. For the storyboard we did, we got personal feedback, but for everything else it was just like, either you said something in the lecture, in the lecture we always had the opportunity to uh, show hand and present our homework, but uh, I tried. I also did it one time, but yeah, it was like eight, nine lectures, nine tasks, and you could only get feedback to one, and in the end you got a grade, and you didn't got feedback for the grade, so kind of difficult to say what you could improve or what not. Um, and I noticed that we <laughs> kind of already slide into the my opinion section. Um, so yeah, just let's wrap that up. Besides that, in my opinion, it was too much, uh, no, it was too little game design. <laughs> we just had some lectures about it and we had the history lectures and one prototyping course where we did project in unity yeah it was just a lot of stuff missing also level design we only had an, an very 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 basic thing in, in in the lecture but no task but on the bright side <laughs> this was my favorite course so far it was so interesting i i have a thing for animation i really like to animate <laughs> never did it after the first or second semester, which is really sad, but I, I want to do it again. Um, yeah, we learned something about game design, we learned about storytelling, and also I don't like drawing, but doing a whole storyboard and making an animatic out of it was very interesting. Um, but yeah, too less game design. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that, that's how studying game design was at this particular university in Germany really fun less game design <laughs> but yeah if you have any questions reach out to me contact me I'm on Twitter I'm on LinkedIn I'm on YouTube and also on Instagram you can contact me everywhere <laughs> glad you watched the video um, take a look at my others talk a lot about studying um, but in the future there will also come other videos about how to get into the game industry, something like that. Alright, have a nice day and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye!